Hello, and welcome to today's Open Dental webinar. Today we will be covering task lists, their setup, and their use. So we'll go over how to create new task lists and assign users to them, how to create and send tasks, where to find tasks what once they have been sent, and how to search for tasks, as well as some of the different options that you have in task lists and tasks themselves. So we'll start by looking at the tasks area in Open Dental. There are two places you can find this, either in the manage module and the tasks button here, which will open up a new window for all of our task tabs and options, or we can dock the tasks to the bottom part of our screen or the right side of our screen as well. If you don't already have the tasks area docked on your screen, you can go to setup, tasks, and then check the always show task list for this computer. This will always show task lists for all computers unless you use the don't show on this computer. So you have some options for each workstation if you don't prefer to have that open. When you are creating task lists for use, you will open the tasks area, go over to the main tab and hit the add task list button. Now, if we are setting up a user's inbox, we will want to use the patient type, object type here. And then we can just simply name it the name of the user. To finish the inbox setup, we will have a couple more steps to go through. We want to go to setup, tasks, and then inbox setup. And there we can find the user and the task list we created and hit the set button to associate the inbox to that user. Now the next step will be for the user itself to come in and log into Open Dental, come into the tasks area to the main list. They will right click their task list and hit the subscribe button. That way, it will show up in their four uh, tab here and they can see their inbox. There are multiple ways to create tasks. The add task button in the tasks area will open up the task edit window and we can send it to a specific task list. Or we can hit the tasks button on the top toolbar, which will let us choose a task list first and then open the task edit window. If the object type for one of these task lists is set as a patient type, it will automatically attach whatever patient you currently have selected in Open Dental. If you don't want the patient to be attached or you want a different patient to be attached, we can hit the change button to change the patient or we can hit the none button to detach the patient altogether. You can also create a task from an appointment by opening the appointment and hitting the to task list button. From here, we can choose the task list to send it to. We can also use the show all task lists to show all task lists that aren't necessarily set up as a patient type task list. And we can hit okay, and it will attach the appointment here. And we can enter whatever information we would like. The convenient part about having patients or appointments attached to tasks is we have a right click go to option on each task that has something attached to allow us to either select the patient or go to the attached appointment. When it comes to creating the task, there are a variety of options and buttons that you will see in the task edit window. The first thing here is the new checkbox. This will always display if the user has not read the task yet. The done checkbox you can use when you are completely com done with the task and you have completed the actions in the description. The date and time of the task as well as the date and time the task was finished. We can set reminders on the task either once, daily, weekly, monthly, or yearly. We can change who the from user is after the task has been created, as it shows here. We can also set up different task priorities associated with different colors, which I'll show you how to get to in a moment. 
We can also use auto notes in tasks by clicking the auto note button, finding the auto note we want, and going through the same process of filling out the prompts as we would on a procedure note. We can also use quick base notes in our tasks as well. So these are gonna be shorthand notes that you can set up with specific abbreviations that will let you input a larger amount of text. The short description field is a great for particularly lengthy tasks that have a lot of information in the general description or maybe a lot of task notes. This will allow you when you're looking in the task list itself to only see the short description and not all of the task notes that are attached to the task. You and other users can make notes on the task by hitting the add button here. And we have the same options of using our auto notes or our quick paste notes for basically what our little comments. And when we add a note, it will show us the date and time, the user, and what the note says. You can also add attachments to tasks by clicking the attachments button and then hitting the add button where we can attach pictures, documents, or other types of files, or simply input a larger amount of text that will only show in the attachment once we open it up. We can also use the copy button to copy the details of the task and use it to paste it somewhere else. This will copy the task information, the description, and any notes that are a part of the task, as you can see. The delete button here will delete the task permanently. If you are completed with a task, we always recommend that you use the done button. That way you can reference it later for you know, your notes. We've got a history button, so those with the particular permissions can view all of the history of the task. The send to button will let you choose a different task list or a task list to send the task to. Of course, we can change the object type or we can attach a different patient or appointment. Or we can use the go to button to close the task window and navigate to the attached patient or appointment. And if we hit OK, it's just going to simply send to the task list we have indicated up here. Something to keep in mind for task attachments to work, you will need to set up an image category for your tasks found in setup and definitions. We can go to image categories, find a particular folder and use the task attachments checkbox. If you don't want the attachments to display in the patient imaging module, you can mark the folder as hidden and it will still allow you to use the folder but it won't show up for you to be able to select in the imaging module. And the next step will go to setup and tasks again, and then we're going to use a default, choose a default image category here. Some of the other task preferences we've got here. Of course, the inbox setup is where you're going to associate task lists with users. Show legacy repeating tasks is really only for those who have set up repeating tasks in much older versions of Open Dental. But the always show task list is where we can dock the task list to either the bottom or the right side of the screen. New slash viewed status tracked by individual user. This will make it so that users can independently mark tasks as viewed or not viewed without affecting others. Show open tasks for users. This will create a new tab in the tasks area where the user can see all of the tasks that they currently have open. Default to sorting appointment type task list by appointment date and time. If you have a task list that is designated as an appointment type, all tasks sent to that task list with an appointment attached will sort by the appointment date and time. We can also set up a global filter for task lists, either filtering by clinic or by region in the clinic, or we can set up global filter, but not automatically filter those tasks, or we can disable filtering altogether. 
you don't show on this computer, it will control whether the tasks area is docked on your particular computer and where, using the X and Y values as well. And then we also have some options in the tasks area itself in this options button here. We can use this to show finished tasks and that will allow us to go into any task and task lists and see which ones have been completed. Again, we have the option on a user base to sort appointment type task lists by the date and time of the appointment. We can default tasks to a collapsed state, which will basically show less information for our lengthier tasks. We can also show archived task lists and we have the option to block task pop-ups, but still have them make a notification sound. So if we go over to our manage blocks button, we can control which tasks will pop up on our screen when they arrive to these particular task lists. If I block all of the tasks, I won't get any pop-ups on my screen and I will have to go to my new four tab to see any tasks that are new for me. Or I can go to my four tab to view each task list I am subscribed to. Again, the open tasks is any tasks that the user currently logged into Open Dental has open. Patient tasks will show you all tasks attached to the currently selected patient in Open Dental. The main tab will allow us to see all of the task lists. And our reminders tab will allow you to set a reminder on a task and view it in a task list. Normally, when you set a reminder on a task, it will not show up in that task list until the date and time of the reminder but we can use the reminders tab to see any tasks that have a reminder for our future dates. When it comes to searching for tasks, we do have a search button here that will allow you to search either the task list by the task list the task went to, the task number itself, the patient number if there's a patient attached, the priority, if it has any text in the description or any of the notes, the date it was created or the date it was completed. We can decide whether we want to include task notes in our search, whether we want to include completed tasks, or if we want to search through attachments from the text as well. Once we've entered some of our search terms, we can hit the refresh button to look at our list of returned results. We can also re create a new task, hitting the new task button and then choosing a task list to send it to. To mark a task as completed, we can right click the task and mark it as done. We can double click the task and check the done box. And that will allow us to know that task has been completed. And if we uncheck the show finished tasks here, we will no longer see that in our task list. You can also find tasks attached to patients in their patient chart. And we can even filter the chart to only see tasks if we would like. Of course, if we want to see the tasks and their notes, we'll want to filter by tasks and proc notes to see everything. Some other convenient options you have with tasks are when you're adding a task from the bottom toolbar here, the add task button, we can choose to send a copy to multiple task lists by hitting the send to button and we'll check the copy, send copies to multiple button. And then we can even show all task lists and send it to everybody if we wanted or whoever we select in that list. I did mention previously that we had some right click options on task to navigate to the patient or appointment attached to the task, we do additionally have some more navigation options that we can use here. Either a specific patient that may not be the patient we have attached, a specific task, a URL, 
or if your office is using that, we can set up a wiki page as a link too. This will allow you to right click the option or the task and navigate to the URL, the indicated task number, select the patient, or if the wiki was set up in tools and wiki, we can use a wiki page. I did mention I would show you how to set up task priority, so I will show you that now. In setup and definitions, we can come down to task priorities and either edit an existing one or add a new one here. We can decide whether it is a default task type or a reminder priority type and associate a color with it. And those are tasks and task lists in a nutshell. Thank you for joining us for today's webinar. If you have any additional questions, please contact our support line at 503-363-5432 or access our complete online manual at opendental.com and make sure you're staying up to date with our latest training videos by subscribing to our channel and turning on notifications.